The baby in room two requires a blood transfusion. When should I perform the newborn screen? I can help with that. For the purposes of newborn screening, a transfusion is defined as the receipt of packed red blood cells. You can indicate no for transfusion status on the newborn screening card if an infant has only received platelets or fresh frozen plasma. When possible, it is best to collect the dried blood spot sample prior to the transfusion, even if the baby is less than 24 hours old. Blood transfusions affect the newborn screening results, specifically for hemoglobinopathies and galactosemia, as the donor blood interferes with the screen. If the pre-transfusion sample is taken less than 24 hours of age, a second sample is still required between 24 to 48 hours of life. NSO may request an additional repeat sample four to six months after the baby's most recent transfusion, for example, if the initial sample was unsatisfactory. NSO understands that it is not always possible to obtain a newborn screening sample prior to a transfusion. If a sample cannot be obtained before the transfusion, the sample should be collected between 24 and 48 hours of life. Additionally, a repeat sample should be obtained four to six months after the baby's most recent transfusion. As the healthcare provider, you should advise the parents, guardians, and or the baby's primary care provider of the need for the four to six month repeat screen. Submitting organizations are responsible for ensuring this repeat sample is collected. NSO will indicate on the results report whether or not a four to six month repeat sample is required. For infants born at less than 33 weeks and or less than 1,500 grams, a three-week repeat sample is also required, regardless of whether or not they have received a transfusion. This is because prematurity can impact screening for other disorders. If the baby is transferred to another hospital, communication should occur between the sending and receiving hospitals to ensure screening is not missed and is completed in a timely manner. To summarize, when possible, collect a pre-transfusion sample, even if the baby is less than 24 hours old. All infants need a sample collected at 24 to 48 hours of age, regardless of transfusion or prematurity. Extremely premature and low birth weight infants require a three-week repeat sample to ensure sufficient screening for all diseases. A four to six month repeat sample may be required and this will be indicated on the results report.